Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to the building of Bob One. In this episode, in this episode, it was in my way. In this episode, I am going to either succeed magnificently or fail utterly. I have no idea which. I'm about 80% sure I'll be okay. Uh, basically, this has all been glued up and I need to wedge and finalize the shape of the, the body. And uh, that will be glued up, left overnight to cure. And I will come back still in this video and bandsaw the final shape. Or something will crack horribly and I'll have to repair it and you'll see the whole process. Um, this is not sanitized guitar building. This is experimental luthiery and great fun. Okay, anyway, so I'm wondering if I, I'm wondering if there's an order in which I need to release these. So I'm gonna do two at the same time. <laughs> okay, um, come on then, you guys go down there. That's my wedges that hit the deck. This is now solid. And I've been saying throughout this process that this instrument might well not survive, uh, or at least in, in the way, in the form that I have envisioned. However, if I manage to build what I want to build, it will be at least as stable as your average acoustic guitar. This is not going to be a delicate instrument. You will be able to, to use it as an instrument, otherwise there is literally no point in making it. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> I need a new vice. Oh, oh. Well, see, that is, that is not an unattractive guitar. Just there, just finished as is. We're good. I'm gonna try and do something cool though. Now, I am so easily distracted. It's solid, we're, we're, we're there. That is all, that's all really good. Now, what I need to do is figure out if I can actually put wedges in, because this is at at the at this end very solid now, and uh, I don't want to have to resort to steam or um, fire or boiling water. I'm hearing noises I don't like. This is very solid. That less so. I, did you hear that creaking and a cracking? Creaking and a cracking. <laughs> All right. Um, what, what I have planned for this guitar, what I had thought at the very least was that the body would be wider, more of a curve going through here. I want a, a hard line there, a hard offset line there, and then the same, a line at that angle and a line at that angle. So we've got you know, cutaways, etc. somewhere for the strap button to go, um, access so you can actually play it. However, I wasn't expecting these to be quite so unforgiving once these wedges were in place. So I'm learning all the time and I need to do something different. This, this is not a bad guitar shape. 
it's a, a small a small V of some sort. And uh, it's not a bad shape. It's just not the one I wanted. And is it now? And there is a solution. Boiling water. I have been reading almost every comment and replying to as many as humanly possible uh, while still running two businesses and a family. No, wait. I don't run my family. It's impossible. Um, and uh, so I've been doing this and uh, one of you, many of you have been, have been giving ideas and, and valid ideas and plans and thoughts and etc. on this process and this instrument. And uh, Dan Bonetto just said, boiling water, exclamation mark. Um, and he said basically it works as well as steam, a little bit messy, but you know. I went into the kitchen. They thought I was making myself multiple cups of coffee in, you know, trying to avoid this stage. But uh, what I was doing was boiling this test piece, which you can see. And uh, while it still does have some flexibility, it has actually bent. Now, what I did is I, I clamped at the junction and, uh, well, essentially I've got a damp piece of wood that's opened up enough. It's opened up enough. It will not be the first time in this build that I've said, let's go to the kettle, but no, I'm going to bring the kettle to you. Let's, let's, yeah. Bring on the fire. Now, uh, we've been having some thoughts about this and before anything else happens, I'm worried about delaminating the fretboard. So I'm going to wrap this if I can. This was not, in the slightest, what I had planned for my day today. Dustbin. <laughs> I have some wedges on my bench. I'm going to start with the more delicate. Wages have been taken. Kettle. Can you see my head? No, you can't see my head. Hello. I'm trying to avoid the water-based glue at the end here. Okay. This is obviously hot. I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do here. That is, yeah, that's flexible. I've just moved the, the glue joints off the edge of the bin because uh, an unexpected side effect of this is that the bin is now becoming a, a steam box, apparently. Uh, there are people off camera standing in the doorway watching this happen because they have placed bets on whether it's going to crack or not. I should have started the pool myself and get 15% of every tank. Damn it. Gambling is bad, kids. Okay. Um, hold on. The first wedge I put in there was actually not 
properly wedge shaped. I do want this to still have the, oh, come on. I want this to still have the curve and the, uh, um, the body curve and the angle and all that jazz. So really, the wedge is <laughs> um, need to be correct. Okay. <gasps> I swore. Hold on, where are we? something I can't see anything I want to have some pressure the one thing I did in my test that I haven't done in this is my test had pressure on it uh, at this end. Yeah, on that edge, yeah. It's on camera, you're on camera, Tom. Actually, Tom, could you give me a hand, please? Sandpaper in, and is that piece wedged? Yeah, it is. To a certain extent, yeah. You good? Okay, thank you very much. Tom Webster, everybody. Okay. People are always telling me that I move too fast. How can you be in love with this tool? You've only had it five minutes. I, I, ju I just have, you know? Uh, I'm gonna... Leave, soak. I'm just going to soak this for a while. Do three or four applications of water before I put any more wedging pressure on it. I'm going to start on the other side as well. Why is this so stressful? Yeah. Ah, my clamp fell off. Tom, <laughs> what did you do? Uh, hold on, we need a smaller wedge. This is a, this is a better one. Uh, there you go. You got this. Always. I basically don't want to put too much pressure on it because I don't want it to crack. That's. That's close enough, okay. Multiple steam applications, minimal pressure put. Steam, boiling water. Apparently there's a, a pool going on uh, as to whether I'm gonna burn myself as well as whether I'm gonna crack this. There's a thing called patience that I uh, sometimes lack. Thank you very much. I'm thinking about Thank you. Uh, I'm wondering about cooking it. To a certain extent. 
Ay, 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 ay. What, what, what am I doing with my life? Experimental Lucifer. I like the end, though. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that foil is making a difference, actually. That's really good. That keeps it in the... Uh, yeah. Everything is more flexible right now. Not nearly as flexible as it needs to be, but getting there. Okay, now this... I think what I want to do is actually flip that piece around. Vance, thank you very much. Okay. So. I'm not too happy with the shape on that one, so I'm gonna flip the, uh, flip the wedge around to open it out more, now that it's more flexible. There we go, we're done. No, that's not. There we go. Oh, actually, that looks much better. And you need one. Ah! Oh no, I've lost my wedge. I did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna bandsaw up some more wedge material. This was not the plan, but it's going according to a plan now. The neck is not warming up. The joints at the other end of the body are not warming up. It's now a waiting game. Thank you very much. You rule. I'm calm. All right, so I've just um, had a very interesting conversation uh, with uh, a very well-known um, boutique amp company. And uh, during that conversation, I was uh, pouring boiling water over this guitar for, well, I think I've applied another six or seven coats. Ooh, steam. Uh, so we're, we're further advanced than before. Cornell lamps, they're amazing. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that's uh, that's that. I am now going to do some more wedging. Okay, that's interesting. Oh yeah. All right. So this is so much more flexible. Start with a tiny bit. Started to become complacent. Do not become complacent. It's working. Okay. Um, I'm wondering. Okay, not quite yet, but I'm gonna put a, a clamp on here at some point, because we wanna open this out. If we're gonna do this and go to this trouble and uh, uh, we're gonna go the whole hog and try 
for something cool. Cooler. Cool as. So, what do you think? I'm loving it. I am 100%. Wrung out. <laughs> this is the last kettle. So there we go. I'm just wedging these open a little bit so that the uh, gaps are actually gaps. Although, to be honest, I could potentially. Uh, Cut them open a little bit wider if necessary. This build is doing wonders for my uh, for my paws, I must say. All right, that's it. Last kettle, and uh, yeah, one hundred percent the last kettle. And. Uh, Nothing is cracked. Ah, success is done. Uh, well, okay. I'm going to leave this to cure. <laughs> Have a look at how much water we've got in this thing. <laughs> That is a hell of a lot of uh, hot water we've gone through. Uh, but quite frankly, we're there. So we have a shape. It's almost guitar shaped. And uh, well, I'm going to leave this to cure, to sit over the weekend actually. It is Friday. Um, it is Friday. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let this sit over the weekend to 100% dry under clamps uh, with the wedges and everything in there. And then when I come back in on Monday, I'm going to make custom wedges to fit. Manipulate it a little bit more. And uh, well, there's still room for a catastrophe at that point. But at this point, I, I'm feeling fairly confident. <sighs> yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Do not forget that you could win this guitar if you go to crimsonguitars.com and you're watching this in the month in which we uh, released it, or at least, I don't know, check out crimsonguitars.com. Um, the guitar is going to be given away to somebody who enters into the competition by buying something on our website. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. It is the metric by which I judge my success and self-worth. That's all. See you later. Goodbye. I win all the bets. I'd have to pay one pound. <laughs> I don't want your money. I don't want your Just money. want your love. Oh, right. okay. yeah, right, Just take oh shoot, that audio is on there. Uh, on, on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Cheerio. <laughs>